Oh my god. Oh wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a delicious Mississippi pot roast. Now this recipe is low carb and keto friendly naturally. So we're actually not gonna make any substitutions. This is just how the recipe is. Now if you would want to make it a little, little, little like lower in carbs because you're like super, super, super strict on your carbs, then all you would do is eliminate your pepperoncini. But we're gonna go over the ingredients and I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step here is our meat. So this is obviously super important and crucial because this is um, the main ingredient. So what we're using is a chuck pot roast. And you can get this anywhere. You can get it at Costco, you can get it at your local like Rouse, Food for Less, Aldi, wherever. Um, this is a very, very, very common and um, popular meat. Or yeah, cut of meat. What we have here is almost two and a half pounds and you can see there, um, just so you know, just for reference, this is how much we're using. So now what we're gonna do um, is we are going to brown our meat, okay? So first you wanna take it out and we are going to pat dry it. So we're just going to pat dry it, make sure that you get all the moisture out. Okay, so now that it's pat dried, we're gonna use some salt, and of course I always use real salt, real salt. I do have a discount code for you. This is um, unprocessed, unrefined mineral salt. So you're just going to use about, I would say a quarter teaspoon um, of salt, and now let's do our pepper. Remember the packet, the seasonings that we're gonna be using um, have salt, so you don't want to, you know, you don't have to go too crazy on the salt here. But I'm just going to. Let's go to the stove, and we are going to brown this little baby. Okay, so now I'm just gonna drizzle a tiny bit of avocado oil. You actually don't need it, but I'm just using a little bit so it gets a nice crisp on it. Okay, so just know that we're not actually cooking the meat. We are just browning it on both sides. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is slice our butter. So you want some cold butter. You can do four to six. I'm doing six tablespoons. Now, and you'll notice that other people use like two sticks of butter. I personally don't think that that's necessary. I've made this several times and this is, you know, six tablespoons is what I think is perfect. Um, you still get the creaminess and their, the flavor, everything is there. So, um, you know, and of course you save on the calories. Okay, so our butter is now chopped up. We're gonna move on over to our pressure cooker. Now, you can do it on a pressure cooker, you can use a crock pot, and if you don't have either of those, you can make it stove top. Typically, this recipe is made in a slow cooker, but again, you can make it stove top, and um, you just wanna cook it long enough so that the meat basically falls apart. Like, literally, it tastes like like butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this in the pressure cooker. So let's get started on that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just grab our meat and you're gonna put it in as a whole. This meat, it's gonna get so tender that it's going to basically fall apart. Like it's going to, you're gonna be able to shred it. So um, that's how tender this meat will end up getting, okay? So what we have here is some au jus gravy. And um, what we're gonna do here is pour in the whole packet. So remember, this is um, naturally just a low carb dish, but this is really how you would make it even if you're not low carb. Um, you would just add, of course, you know, you would serve it with your mashed potatoes. I'm gonna serve it with Kali mash. So um, now we're just gonna pour it on top. Okay, so now let's sprinkle it over the meat. And this is why you didn't, you don't want to um, put too much salt because obviously all of these um, ingredients have salt. Okay, so this is the gravy. Now we have the little ranch, and this is the restaurant style ranch. You can use any brand. This is just what they had at the local store, so that's what we get. And you're gonna just sprinkle this on top as well, just like that. Okay, we use the whole packet of both, remember, for two and a half pounds of meat. 
So if you're making, let's say you want to make a huge pot, then just go based off of those uh, measurements. So six pound, you do two packets and so on. And now what we're going to do is add our butter, okay? And you're just going to kind of spread it around. I mean, at the end of the day, it's obviously all going to go in the same place, but I don't know, it just makes me feel better when we spread it. I feel like it's going to be more even. And for these pepperoncinis, if you want to save on the carbs, then you can cook with them, but just don't eat the, you know, just don't eat them. Personally, for me, I think, I mean, I'll probably eat all of them, but that's just me. I love pepperoncinis. I love everything pickled. And this is what it's going to look like before we get going and start cooking it. Okay, so now you just put this in. Remember, you can use a crock pot. You can use um, basically even cook it stovetop. But we are using pressure cooker just for the sake of saving some time. Take a look at this deliciousness right here. Look at how it just falls apart. See, this is what I mean. You need to let it cook long enough so that it's just falling apart. Look. You guys see how tender that is? Mm. Oh my gosh, I've been fasting so I am hungry. Wow, this looks so freaking delicious, I can't. Did you see how easy it is to make? I mean, now just make a little cauli mash on the side, some veggies, a salad. If your family is not low carb, or then you can just make regular mashed potatoes. But this here is the, just a traditional recipe. It's just naturally, normally low carb and keto friendly. So here is the final product. Take a look at this. Look at the texture. There is so much flavor in this. I seriously just can't, I just can't with myself right now. And I'm super excited because I'm so hungry and I'm about to do a taste test. A little pepperoncini and all. I love pepperoncinis. If you don't like them, then just don't, don't have them. Ready spaghetti? Oh my god. Oh wow. Mmm. This is delicious. Let me know if you've ever tried a Mississippi pot roast. Comment down below. I just learned about this like six months ago and I've made it like five times. It's so delicious. I usually make it with a little cauli mash a little side salad, but mm, if your family is not low carb, you can make a uh, mashed potatoes, a little mac and cheese, whatever um, you would typically eat like a roast with. But I'm telling you right now, it's so easy. You can use this for meal prepping. You can probably get, if this is just for you and maybe like a significant other, you can get like two or three meals out of this. Um, if it's you alone, you can, I don't know, maybe like five or six meals, but it's, it's, a, look at, it. it's just, it's nice and fatty. It's gonna be nice and filling and you're gonna get your protein in. It's super delicious, full, full of flavor. I really, really think that you, you're you going to love this recipe. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this recipe. I cannot wait to hear what you think. I personally think you're gonna be super obsessed. So make it. Come back, comment down below, let everybody know what you think of it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you want a little bit more of me, you can always follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post a little bit more of my everyday life. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Mwah.